What about those? Could you wear the snowshoes? No, those are not deep at all. We might have to. I'm not kidding you. I was about to say, Mr. Brown hasn't lost his shoes in a while. Where are your shoes? I don't know where. <laughs> I know where they are, but I don't, I don't want to get them. Where are they? I'll get them. And I think in the greenhouse. Okay, that makes sense. We were playing there yesterday. I'm gonna go around, not crawl under. It's open on this other end. Oh, that was a good guess, but it wasn't there. Hey, they weren't in the greenhouse. Yeah, but I guess I can't go. No, I we're go. gonna find a way. You're gonna go. Do you know where else they might be? Dad's wise house. Maybe. You haven't seen any uh, shoes, have you? Shoes over at your house. Uh, Some Mr. Brown size shoes. Oh, I didn't know that actually. <laughs> okay, he thought they might be at Azariah's. Well, <coughs> not here. I'm gonna paint this. That's the plan. You wanna paint the pretty shawl today? Yeah, let's Get go. mom's chicken coop ready for the spring. It's a good day to do it. It's raining outside. We can't do our outside project. We should uh, make headway on this paint job. Two dollars cash money, anybody find uh, Gideon's shoes. Uh oh. Maybe uh, they act they like they know. They were playing here also. Maybe somebody <laughs> left inside. <laughs> Look at this cardboard. Uh, That's all you got to get a kid. Bunch of cardboard. I don't see it. Nothing. Did you find them? Oh my. Did you go to Azariah's porch? Oh. Oh boy. Well, those aren't the ones we're looking for. Where did you find those? Inside. We'll see if he'll go for them. We have another problem. I was afraid of this. I left all my paint stuff in here. And this was half out. Only one brought. Oh, I know there was a lot more than this. I wonder what happened. I think probably the same thing that happened to <laughs> my drill bit, my sawzall, cardboard boxes, pig panel. and other good news. He found the shoes. But they're soaking wet. Yeah. What do you guys guess what happened to all those, all the brushes and Kids stuff? Kids got in there and played with them. Yeah, that's, 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 I would say so. I will welcome obstacles for they are my struggle. Because when I thought we were gonna be painting today, we're going to be setting up and coming up with a list that needs to be got at Lowe's. Maybe we can mess around with the axles a little bit. You know, we could clean up in here. We could put the, we could get this on blocks. We could, we could make some progress. Ah, oh, but it's a rainy day. It's been perfect for that. Ah. Just that, where were those shoes? That down to pretty close. All right. Gideon! Hey, are they dry in there? Nope. Okay, I think I hear him answering me downstairs. Gideon! Lily said she put his snowshoes up here, but I don't see them. Maybe he took them. There he is. Hey, you got your snow boots on. We found your, no, they're wet. They're soaking wet. We found them. Where were they? Down at the pretty place. Oh. Maybe we'll dry them out by tomorrow. One more move, one more raised bed job. One, two, three. Oh, snap, I, I forgot to catch him. Whoops, I just lifted him right up. Okay, keep him cornered there. Good catch. Wow, that was kind of lucky. Sorry about that, guys. That actually ended up being bigger than that. I don't think I would take that chance again. What's amazing is they go after the greens and start scratching even before the feed in this new situation. That's how you know they're happy. We'll level that out and cover it. We do need to come up with an eight foot shim. That makes me a little happier. That's a little bit of a project uh, that we can do and finish today, unlike the painting. Got that covered, prepping for spring planting. These guys are already hard at work. Working hard as a chicken. Hey, let's join them. Let's keep moving. Oh, what's wrong with that? Josiah called me over here to look at this water. That's crazy. Why is that black? Let's check beefcakes. 
Oh, his is weird too, and it almost out. This is the only way I know of. One bucket at a time. Oh, it's not that bad. It just looks weird. Got this cleaned. Look at the water. This is what I pulled out of there. Algae. Look at this. After I've scrubbed it down, look how green getting it off the side. That's crazy. When they were in the forest and we moved these and emptied these once a week, never had the problem. When the pigs were in the pig port, didn't have this problem either, but we did have them covered. So I'm, I'm wondering if that makes a difference. I'm a little worried that once you have algae, you're always gonna have algae. It's hard to get it all, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna now soak this one. Intensive management, guys. Gotta keep them in clean water. That's the priority, that's the priority. Clean water, good food, sanitary area. So I think what we'll do is try a lid on that and see if it doesn't slow down the algae. Hey, what are we doing? Shaking holes. You got those from the wood. Oh, you just sprayed me. Sorry. All right. Spray me. That's good. Good charcoal source for the pigs. Straight from our wood boiler. You cool it off and then they're storing it in this bucket. Now to get beef cakes. Josiah had the hose pinched for me. I went to put the hose in and I'm like, wait, he's just gonna tear up this, this line. So I said, okay, gotta pinch it. I gotta hang it. I don't know, somewhere in there, he acted like he was gonna get me. <laughs> I don't think you ever wanna trust a pig that big, ever. So I'm just a little careful. Maybe I was a little too nervous, we'll see. Well, I, I draped it through the top of the greenhouse uh, line and hung it over and he can't get at it and it's filling up. I was just about to milk Phyllis. I pulled the alfalfa out so she doesn't keep eating it. Oh, they said the chickens are out, sure enough. Whoa, they're out. Oh, Arun's already on it. Jonah's on it. They're herding chickens. Seems to be working. Oh, there's always one. I would maybe open that door a little bit more. There you go. Good. Perfect. I was walking by a room and he said, maybe you need to get Rebecca some spicy Mexican food. She's had a good bit more contraction, but nothing to call the inquirer about. With all our other children, she'd have contractions, they'd start off far apart, they'd gradually get closer together, and then grow in intensity, and eventually have a baby, but this has been so up and down, it's crazy. Jonah, will you help me get Polly? Uh, news on Polly. This is Phyllis's cat. She's about six months old, which means it's, it, it would be time to wean her and sell her. Look, right here. But you know, we got to thinking, we need the beef more than the cash flow. She's A1, A2, which means her milk isn't as easy to digest if it was A2, A2. Uh, so she's not the perfect milk cow. She's a beautiful American Milking Devon and a Jersey Cross. We do that cross, you know, Studs American Milking Devon. We do that cross because that's a hardier, beefier breed. And then the Jersey is a milky breed. And then every year they give us a, a, a calf and you have the potential for beef or for a milk cow. We might be able to replace Phyllis with a new family cow this summer. If not, we could uh, raise up maple perhaps. She's A2A2. A2. Polly. You don't hurt my dad. You could be beef this fall. You're a good one. She's got good, uh, a good build. She would provide a lot of good, good food for us. And you know, with all the crazy stuff going around with, with beef or fake beef, I'm like, it just, it just ups the value for us. And right now that's our decision, it might change, but I think, I think we're doing the right thing. If our goal on this homestead is to grow as much nutrient dense food as we can for our family, then it just, that makes total sense, total sense. The one thing if we didn't need beef, but we're actually, we actually could use the beef. We're out of our own steaks. Got lots of hamburger. Her teats are totally smooth. They're no longer dry. There was a scab on this one, wasn't there, Lily? Yeah. Really? 
It's gone in like a week's time. We've just been putting this Synergy Animal Product Superior Cow Cream, which is an organic cream, on her once a day. Not giving the calf to her for about an hour to let it soak in. It's working. Like her teeth are smooth. The scab, I like, that, I thought that scab was going to take weeks. She stood still for me this morning, so hopefully we can milk her tomorrow in the po' barn, Lily. Good morning. I was going to come make you something, but it looks like you figured it out. I did. A big breakfast. Yeah. Eggs, potatoes, toast. What's the deal? I don't know. You getting charged up to have this baby? Maybe. <laughs> I just was hungry. Contractions? I felt hungry. I had a couple today. I've had like four since I've been up since seven. Okay. It is. 9.30, so. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to write home about. We got our cardboard down. Lily got us another piece of cardboard. Let's let that dry out, though. That can stay right there. Well, let's get it out of the walkway. Let's move the coop back. Move the cardboard to the middle and then put it back. All right, let's get four of these. My idea is to get this pretty shawl onto blocks so that we can work on the wheels and the axles and so that we can paint it. We're not bending way over. Looks like we're a little crooked. Yeah, look, we're way over. We need to be over a foot or more. It looks good, guys. We have two brushes. We have a couple of little rollers. Grandma said she had some stuff. We did find some blue tape. We could do, go ahead and do that. What we want to do with this room mm -hmm. is protect our trim. Boom! We have taped it. We lack this window and finishing that trim. And then we're ready for a white paint job. Hopefully, I called Grandma. She said she has everything. So hope that's the case. And hopefully we can start painting tomorrow or this afternoon. Oh boy, what's going on? Oh. They have painted their fort. You know, guys. painted our hedge. I went through all this trouble to put down cardboard for a reason. So we wouldn't get paint all over the floor. Okay, and y'all are getting paint all over your clothes. You're getting it all over your forehead. Look. I hope this yeah, is kids' paint. It is, it is. Okay. Don't ruin her bathroom now. No, I'm going to our bathroom. Did you uh, forget I know, the brand new bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my word. Still pork wild. tenderloin from the land. It's our last pork tenderloin. Is that pop sweet potatoes? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm pop sweet potatoes. I pop sweet potatoes. You do? Good. Sweet. We've had good success with sweet potatoes yeah. here for sure. Yeah. 